I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to stop worrying. Don't waste your time worrying, man. God done already worked it out. <laughs> it ain't no need to worry about your future because, see, God is already there. God knows how to make the crooked things straight. God is undefeated. He's been working situations out way before you were born. He's been doing miracles way before you were born. But see, in the natural, sometimes we get caught up tripping, trying to figure everything out. Listen, it's not for you to figure out. It's for you to trust God. You got me? Stop trying to figure out what only God can work out. And you never need to know it all, man. You never need to know it all. You only need to know the one who knows it all. That's why the Bible tells us, do not worry. The Bible tells us, do not worry. Now, why would the Bible tell us not to worry? Because sometimes, you know, we can get hard headed. Sometimes we can get so bored that we say, well, I guess I'm so bored right now. I ain't got nothing to do. I guess I'll just continue worrying. No. Don't worry about it. Because, see, God is writing your story and God doesn't have an eraser on his pencil because he causes all things to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. You got me? So God is not biting his fingernails. He's not nervous about what's going on. Nah, he got you in the palm of your hand in the midst of it. Despite of what it looked like, it may look rough. It may look crooked. It may look like it ain't no way you're going to make it out of this. You may say, man, it, it ain't no hope for me. You may feel like you're in a hopeless situation. But guess what? <laughs> that ain't nothing new for God. God been stepping in and working things out, man. He used Moses to part the Red Sea. So surely what you going through, he can step in and part that situation and give you peace. Because remember, peace is not something, it's someone. You got me? So what I want you to do, instead of worrying, start praising him. Right? Instead of, instead of spending time and wasting time worrying and overthinking, See, overthinking is basically like worshiping the problem. Worrying is like worshiping the problem. Don't occupy your mind with that. Spend time worshiping God and reading his word and thanking him because of who he is. Listen to me. Until God opens the next door, you got to learn how to praise him in the hallway. Don't let the only time you praise God be when you see a miracle or when you see God come through for you. Listen, God may be doing 3,000 things right now at this very moment. We might only be aware of one. Because his ways are higher. The scripture says his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. He knows best. God knows what he's doing. I'm trying to tell you he knows what he's doing. And listen to me. Even if God doesn't do anything else for us, he's already done enough. And I'm going to say it again. Even if God don't do another thing for us, he's already done enough. Why is that? He didn't already send Jesus to die on the cross for all our sins so we could be redeemed. We could be saved and we could be set free. When are we going to start thanking God because of what he, what, he, what he already did and who he is? We got to learn to worship him for his heart and not just his hand. We don't only want to get caught up just with the blessings and what he's going to do for us and how he's going to come through for us, how he's going to provide for us. All that stuff is good. But, man, you need to worship him for, for, for who he is. John 3, 16, what it told us. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever shall believe within him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God so loved the world. Key word, so. I love that scripture. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I love that woman. Yeah. It ain't say God loved the world a little bit, so he sent Jesus to die on the cross for Demarcus's sin. No. It said God so loved the world. That mean, man, he loved you so much. Even if you was the only person down here on earth picking your nose with your little finger and eating a bowl of Fruit Loops watching uh, cartoons in the middle of your living room. He still would have said, he valuable. He worth it. She worth it. I'm telling you how valuable you are. 
So watch this. Since God is faithful enough to send his son to die on the cross for all of your sins so that you can have a relationship with him. Since he's faithful enough to save you, why would he not be faithful enough to keep you? Why would he do all that for you and not want to God guard and keep you every single day of the week? Why would he not want to watch over you and keep you in the palm of his hand? You got me? So th there's no reason to worry because he's with you. He said, I'll ne never leave you nor forsake you. And I'm not sure what you're dealing with today. I know it may look rough, but look, do me a favor. Stop worrying about what it looked like. Because sometimes things got to get a little ugly before it get pretty. You got me? God know what he's doing, man. And listen, with all due respect, that battle ain't never been yours. Sometimes you got to you got to get out the way and let God fight that battle. Because that battle ain't never been yours. You got me? I know I, I know you confused. You say, man, I don't know. I don't know. I can't make heads or tails of it. It's okay. Because see, when you're confused, that's good because you're in a perfect place to see God do a miracle. Now, when God works it out, it is, able, it is you who's able to step in and say, I know that was God. I give God the glory because I didn't know what to do myself. You got me? God going to work it out, man. But do me a favor. Instead of worrying and overthinking, spend time uh, 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 downloading the word of God into yourself and reading the Bible more and learning about God and who he is. And the fact that you have the victory because see, victory is not something you achieve like a goal. No, victory is something you receive as a gift because of he in whom you believe to be your savior. You got me? So the battle is already won. How you know that, Marcus? Because it's written in the script. <laughs> it's written in the script, man. It is what it is, dog. You a winner. Hey, hey, I hate to spoil the ending for you, but you win in the end, dog. I hate, to, I hate to spoil it for you, but I got to tell you, you win in the end, and you're going to be all right. All right? <laughs> you're going to be all right. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Oh, yeah, watch out for the scammers in the comments. Anybody who asking you to text a number or telling you to win a prize and they're trying to use a fake picture of me, <laughs> don't text nobody. Don't send nobody no money or anything. These are spam accounts, okay? I block them, but as soon as I do, they keep creating more, okay? Don't text nobody. Don't send no money to nobody. Block these people. Uh, don't send nobody no money, man. Don't get okie doked all right? I know I got to keep saying it in the video, but it's different people, uh, new people coming to the channel every day, so I want to make you aware. Don't send nobody no money. Don't text or call no numbers. It's all scam, all right? Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, I need you to comment the words, I will trust God, because that's right. We're going to trust God. We're going to trust more in God's ability to succeed rather than our own inability to fail. Because God is undefeated. So since we are in him, we're winners as well. <laughs> hey, you a winner, dog. It is what it is, man. Hey, imagine you on the championship team and you never had to play. You never had to even shoot a jump shot. Y'all just won a trophy. It feel good to have the jerseys on. It's God who's fighting this battle. It's God who's shooting the jump shots. It's God who's dunking the basketball. God says, you on my team. You're valuable. Accept your position as a winner. Let me fight this battle. Me and you, we on the bench, dog. We letting God fight our battle. <laughs> hey, we going to be all right, dog. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.